If you have a Medicare standalone drug plan because you have a Medicare supplement plan, please watch this video and do something before the year is up. It might save you a lot of pain in the next year. My name is Sylvia Gordon. This is my son, Elliot Sharples Gordon at the Medicare family. We are three generations here to help your family with your Medicare questions. And it's a very urgent time of year because it's at the end of 2019 and people are nearing the end. They have just a few days left to change their drug plan. We know from the data that less than 10% of people that have a drug plan will actually change. They might look around, they might kick the tires, but they don't actually change. Now, we know people don't like to change, they don't want to mess with it, it's the holidays, whatever. Why should they take this more seriously? They need to take this more seriously because the plans change every year. So on January 1st, when you realize that your plan changed, and oh, by the way, you didn't read your, your mail that came from your drug company telling you about it, well, now it's too late to change because you have it till December 7th to shop for the new year. So please, please, please call us, check and see if your plan is still going to be good for you next year. Because for a lot of people, they, they find out it's not. So let's talk about people that don't take many drugs. So mm -hmm. There's a lot of people that take one or two, three inexpensive drugs and they go, it's not worth it. It's, it's fine. Whatever mm -hmm. it is, it's fine. I'm not paying that much. It's fine. I looked at it last year. It wasn't that expensive. Mm -hmm. It's fine. What's the I gotcha? The I gotcha is that your monthly premium can change. Is that what you're talking about? Yep. That's what we're talking about. Because an example of this year, we've had many, many, many of our clients call us because they got their letter in the mail. You might've gotten one too, you just didn't read it. I throw away half of my mail. Right. But the letter basically said, your plan this year is the cheapest out there. But starting next year, there's gonna be two plans available and we're gonna put you in the more expensive one. So it went from about $10 to about $50 per month. Well, these are people who were on the cheapest one because they weren't taking hardly any prescriptions. Right. So there's no use paying $50 per month if you're only gonna go get your level thyroxine and your metformin. There's just no point. So they called us, we were able to help them and put them on you know, a good plan for them, but they wouldn't have known if they didn't, if we didn't help them with it. And the majority of people, so 90% mm -hmm. of people that have a standalone drug plan are not looking at it because they're like, it was good last year. I'm sure it's gonna be about the same next year. No, it's not. Many of the plans kinda, I gotcha. So you were on a $10 plan last year and now it's the same plan, $60 a month. So your co-pays might still be real cheap, but you're paying that extra huge premium. And there are options that you could mm -hmm. get another plan with a similar monthly premium and similar co-pays. There's a lot of options, but you have to take the time to call us. And if it's still AEP when you watch this video, it's before December 7th, you have until December 7th at midnight, just call us, let us shop it for you, it's free, there's no obligation, and see if we can help you before you're locked in December 7th for another whole year. So let's say they don't figure this out until January 1st when they get their new plan and they get their new bill, mm -hmm. and they go, what? What happened? And then they call you. What can they do? We can't switch. I wish we could, after December 7th, we can't do anything to change until next AEP, so next October, but you can call us just because most people don't have anyone to help them with this. Maybe your agent helped you set it up 20 years ago, you've never heard from him, maybe he retired, you moved, you've changed your phone number. At least call us so you have somebody who's you know in your, in your, in your pocket, in your phone, so that when you do have questions, you can contact us, and then next year, we'll be able to help you. Or you might be in a state that has very lenient mm -hmm. rules. There are a few states that will, like New York, yeah. that will allow you to move every month. Or you might qualify for another special exception that most people don't qualify for that would allow you to move mm -hmm. and wouldn't require you to be locked into that needlessly expensive plan for all of 2020. That's, so a, you, that's a great point on the extra help. Right. So most people don't know that if they have low fixed incomes, a lot of times you can qualify for extra help from the government which means you can change your prescription drug plan outside of the normal window. That's a special exception. Special exception. And we helped tons of people find that that had no idea that was a case. So call us. So if you're watching this video mm -hmm. in the beginning of 2020 or the beginning of any year, and you just got that big, I gotcha raise that you didn't expect was gonna happen, mm -hmm. call us to see if there's an opportunity for us to get you in 
a similar but lower priced plan. You won't know if you don't call. Working with us is free. It's awesome. Thanks, babe. You like us. Good job, mom. Keep my family employed. Appreciate you guys. Thank you.